Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have the project that I'm going to be teaching on Ustream tonight to show you. It is August um, 20th, and I moved the train mini to next week, so I had to come up with a quick project um, to to do for tonight's class. And so we're gonna we've been having tons of people wanting a recipe box. So here's a cute recipe box, a little different than the one I did last uh, Christmas time. Similar kind of style, but a little bit different in how it all goes together. Um, this one is uses some um, solid color cardstock. It also uses the Kitchy Kitchen paper from Melissa Francis, one of the new ones. It's really cute. Like many recipe boxes and such, it has an apron on the front. Um, with this one, I have um, the little top neck, quote unquote, neckline of the apron loops around a little um, Tim Holtz um, hitch post that's underneath there, and that helps hold it closed. The cover also just slips in behind that apron and in front of the um, the lower bottom of the box, and this just pops open. Inside here are all the different recipe cards. Um, here, let me set this down. These I've made folders. Here you can put a picture of the um, the recipe on the, the cover, or maybe a picture of you making the recipes, whatever kind of photo you want to put on the, the cover, and then it pops open. Here I've used some of the Melissa Francis cards. These could also be index cards. They could be out of cardstock and stamped. Um, or you can actually there's about a billion and two um, recipe cards that you can print off of the internet for free as well so um, any kind of uh, recipe cards you want to put on the inside and you could actually put multiples in each one of these folders I then have 14 of these folders in here in these um, pockets that slide on these ribbons Whoops. then this just as I said it slides in behind the little apron. Oh, one of the things too, let me pull out one of the cards. What you can do is when it's closed up, while you're cooking, I have this clip on here so that you can set the recipe in that clip so while you're cooking, gets it up off the table so you can follow your recipe while you're cooking. So then it just unclips out of that Tim Holtz clip. Um, then you just hook, as I said, you hook that neck loop on that um, that Tim Holtz um, hitch post that's actually holding this clip on and that holds it closed. It has a little handle then the ribbons tie in the back. Just would make a great gift for Christmas time or you know a, maybe a wedding shower that kind of thing. Um, but we'll be doing that on, on Ustream tonight. My Ustream channel is www.ustream.tv slash channel slash following the paper trail and if you don't want to type all that in you can just go to my blog at followingthepapertrail.blogspot.com and I have a direct link that takes you right to my Ustream channel. You can just watch it as a guest. If you want to participate in the live chat, chat you do need to log into to Ustream. Super quick, super easy. Just follow the instructions on how to do that. It's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight, Pacific Time. We'll be going through how to um, how to make this. I also now have a pattern for this, um, this box up on my Etsy store um, at followthepapertrail.etsy.com. Um, so if you want to have the written instructions, you can go ahead and get those um, at my Etsy store, and I can get those emailed out to you before the show tonight at 7. So anyway, that's what we're going to be making on Ustream tonight. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. We usually have a, a pretty big crowd. So looking forward to seeing you then, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a bunch.